My name is Bethany and I'm with Rising Joy Bakery. Today we're going to talk about bread scoring. Did you know there's actually a purpose for bread scoring and it's not just to make the beautiful loaf of bread? During the fermentation you have created all of these beautiful gas and air bubbles inside that loaf of bread. During the baking, they want to explode as the bread rises. You're going to explode through the weakest spots. So if you do not score your bread and make intentional spots, it will explode in their various locations and almost leave like crater looking volcano um, tears in the, the, the crust of the loaf when it comes out. So you want to score. The tool that I highly recommend is getting yourself a bread lane. This is a bread lane. It just basically holds your razor blade so you don't slice with your finger in the process. They have um, various different kinds, so definitely go check those out. But when you are bread scoring, if you're going to start doing designs frequently, I do recommend getting yourself a bread blade. So, we're going to talk about a few different techniques in this video, and I'm going to show you a few go-tos that I like to use, but really just get creative and have fun with it. Okay? So, So these two loaves just came out of the fridge. I prepared them two evenings ago. They did about 12 hours bulk ferment on the counter and about 24 hour cold ferment shaping in the fridge. Um, I'm just doing a light dusting of flour. This just helps give more of a rustic look and gives better contrast with your design. So you're gonna use your bread lame and just gently do whatever design you want. This is kind of a go-to wheat design. Um, it's just simple lines that stretch open when they're baking and make this beautiful wheat pattern. You always want to have that deep score on the side that's gonna be your main score to let all the gases out. Um, if you do not have that, then your design will not stay pretty all the gases will bust open through your design so make sure that you still have that nice deep score on the side when you're doing a beautiful design on top with the second loaf um, i'm going to do a very similar wheat pattern but i just like to play around with the angles and the shapes and um, each bread loaf is kind of shaped different and after you do that deep score whether you do it before or at the end um, sometimes I want to do the wheat on one side or on the other, but um, just get creative with it and have fun. Um, it's supposed to be relaxing and enjoyable. Here is another really simple go-to wheat design, but I do my deep scoring on the top in the form of an X, as opposed to a wide um, moon shape on the side. So it's going to open up on the top as opposed to having a side ear. And then I just like to do these little um, wheat designs going through on all four sides. This last one is very simple, but it's a sweet one for the family. You're just gonna do your deep score on the side and then on the top, do little V's. And these little V's are going to open up into beautiful little hearts. Super simple, but always brings a smile to the little one's faces. There you have it. But most importantly, get creative and have fun with it, okay? So, follow along for more tips, tricks, tutorials, and more from Rising Joy Bakery.
Also make sure you subscribe below so you get notified when I come out with new videos. So keep baking, keep practicing your bread scoring, and have a great day.